Good morning and welcome to day Vlogtober day 29. I just got out of the shower and my hair needs to be combed but I just wanted to say happy birthday to my friend Jessica. You have a birthday today. Did you know that? I bet you had no idea but happy birthday. Um, I'm going to comb my hair. It's so long now. I'm not used to it being this long. I know people probably like are not interested in my long hair. My short long hair. But I'll comb it before it dries. Remember I told you you only comb curly hair when it's wet? Yep. This is me combing it. I woke up at 5.45 this morning. And I waited till my husband woke up before I took a shower because um, I didn't want to wake him up. He woke up around 6.30. Yeah, I'm going to put a little hair glue on my hair just a touch because this stuff goes a long way um and that'll be my hair for the day wait well, you know how i said i was just going to put a little bit of hair glue in i wasn't paying attention i just went <laughs> i have a lot of hair glue in my hair when it dries i'll blow dry it out a little bit but Let's see what if I grabbed the right one. I did, the 29th. I'm so excited to know which one this is because I don't know these new fandangled Disney cartoons except for like Moana and Frozen. Okay. You ready? What does it say? The princess and the frog oh the princesses and the frog so that came out later than i thought that was 2009 boy they she skipped a lot of years yesterday was 2000 this year is 2009 or today's 2009 doctor i, I ain't even gonna try let's see Ooh, I really like this one. That's nice. That's nice. I like that one. Let's say 29. That's a nice one. I like that. I like that one a lot. Stay still. I would cast a pumpkin on with this today. But we're going out today. Um, look how pretty that is. With that neon green in it. Oh my gosh. We're going out today. We gotta run some errands. We gotta go to Sam's. Because I've been putting that off for weeks. Sam's. And I gotta go to Target. And Books a Million. And we're gonna grab lunch. We're going to leave around 11. It's like 8.15 right now. But yeah, that's all I've got to report for now. I'll be back later. See ya. It's October 29th. So, of course, that means it's time to put up the Christmas tree. You know how I put too much hair gel in my hair? It is super not going anywhere. Nope. Brianna and I went to Books a Million. I have a haul to show you. Do we want to start with the Funko Pops or the, the books? 
start with the Funko Pops. I got to go with Madam Lady Tremaine up there. The Evil Queen. I'm going to pause this and unbox it. Because that box does this no justice. I don't think I have an evil queen. I have Maleficent. I have Lady Tremaine. I have several Ursulas. Um, I have an evil queen. I don't think I have an evil queen. This might be my first one put her oh she would look fabulous right here darling fabulous but I gotta push the yarn back there we go mm -hmm. and then I got another Funko Pop E.T. in disguise they had a Drew Barrymore one of where she was Gertie was that her name the little girl on ET let me pause it so it's not so loud ET my family does not understand my love of ET I got ET and Elliot on the bike and now I have ET in disguise mm -hmm. that one shall go We'll just put them here for now. Oh, you can't see them down there. Oh well. And then I got a unicorn. One of them Tokidoki unicorn things. And I thought we could do an unveiling. Which one did I get? These are all the possible ones you can get. I think. I bet I won't get the chaser. I want the spicy one. I want the one with the alien on its head. Let's see which one I got. I got the little scissors. The little scissors. Oh, yeah. Let's see which one did I get. I didn't get that one, but this one's a cute one. This is, was this the first one? This Belina. It's a wizard one. I like this one. This is a series after dark. I really like this one. See the black cat is an eye. And it's got a little spider and a snake. Yes, I love it. I'll put it on my um sock knitting machine. Okay, that's all the toy stuff I got. Yes, I'm 40 years old now. I collect toys. Okay, and I haven't bought a book in a while, and there was two books I went in wanting. One I forgot about, but it was out in front, like on display. And the other one I had to go looking for, but it was number 12th bestseller. I was like, yes. I'll show you the number 12th bestseller first. Because I love them. Tom Felton, Beyond the Wand. He's number 12 bestseller. I'm like, yes. I'm proud of him. But this is his, I guess, biography. Story of like, through being a child actor. I heard it's really good. I heard he reads it on Audible. Why am I not on Audible? I need to be on Audible. And then, the next book. That was the best book. Because I love Tom Felton. <laughs> I got the new Stephen King book, Fairy Tale. And they got this big tacky sticker on it. I want to take it off. Stephen King, Fairy Tale. I'll be honest, I've not read the synopsis of this. 
But I just noticed that's like a stairway and not a dragon eye. A dog and a boy. I don't know. I'll read the synopsis later, but I just... It's not a scary book. It's a fairy tale book, I've heard. So, I think. I don't know. I'm a sucker for a fairy tale. So, it's probably like dark fantasy. But it's a chunk of a book. It is. How many pages? It is 598 pages. It's a hefty book. It's going to take me some time to get through that one. And then we donated a toy f to a local thing for Christmas. And that was the extent of our shopping today at Books Million. They always do like uh, buy a toy and donate it. And every time we go in there and they do that, we don't buy a toy and donate it. It was a Pokemon toy this time we did. Because either boy or girl can like Pokemon. But Tom Felton. So excited. How big is this book? I wish I was like over there in England where he lived and randomly stumbled across the... Uh, um, a signed one. Oh my god. This has 283 pages. I don't know which one I want to start reading first. What would y'all do? Tom Felton? Or Stephen King? I love Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. I think my mom's calling. I'll be right back. Okay. I think I was asking Stephen King... Or Tom Felton. Which one do I read first? I do not know. No. Chunk. Or story. I kind of want to read this one first. Because I've heard it's really good. I don't know. What do y'all think? What, should, what would you read first? Stephen King? Or Tom Felton? Let me know below. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up I'm really tempted to pick up one of these books and just start reading but I'm gonna wait and see what y'all think I should read because really I started a pumpkin today pumpkin number six there's five of them so that'd be number six I started I used today's yarn from the advent because it's beautiful and I want to get halfway on that today so um What was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, I'm not going to read until I get halfway on that pumpkin. We got a big bag today. It's the last one I'm going to pull from up there. The other two I'm going to pull from the closet. But this bag was not cheap. And it just sits up there collecting dust. I don't know why I use this as a project bag. I need to use this as like a... It's like a wax canvas bag. So pretty. I love this bag. I don't know where I got it. I got it on Etsy somewhere a long time ago. But I know what's in here. It's a failed test knit. And that can mean only one thing, right? It's a garment. And it's in my favorite yarn ever. This is my favorite colorway ever, 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 ever. It's Madeline Tosh Calligraphy. Look at that colorway. It looks gray, but if you get it close enough, let's see. It's got like pinks and gray and tan and like purpley looking. You can't really tell. Right there. Right in that area. But this was a pain in the 
ass to knit. The whole entire cheek to cheek ass. And I don't know where I'm at on it. It looks like the shawl collar you knit as you go. Yeah. Look how much ribbing I had to knit back and forth. How much is that? I would say that's over a foot of ribbing from here to here. This is worsted weight. It's just Tosh vintage. What was this pattern? Oh, thank God. I thought I didn't have the pattern anymore. But I did get some of these flexi flips, Addy flexi flips to do the sleeves. But I think I'll just do them in the round. I don't know why I thought these were necessary. And it looks like I am alternating skeins. Go me, go me. They're both attached, so. I'm assuming. I don't know where I left off on this pattern. It's Amethyst Grace Cardigan. A pattern by White Willow Wearables. I know she's not called White Willow Wearables anymore. But her name is Laura Du Du Peace. Du Du Pie. I don't know. But that's the cardigan. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I would hate to frog this. A because it was pain in the butt to start. B because I really want it. And C, I put so many hours into this thing. What are all these down the middle here? Is this like the center stitch I need to know about? Eh, where did I get that? That's so cute. Seems like I know the person that made that, but I don't remember where I got that from. It's a lamp from a Christmas story. The leg lamp. But it looks like I'm halfway on the body. I'm sure I'm knitting the biggest size. I'm knitting, oh, 2X. I mean, this was years ago. Why am I knitting 2X? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, two X. But I still have this yarn, I think. Lord, I hope so. Yeah, I see calligraphy. I just don't know if it's DK or if it's Tosh Vintage. But look at those colors. I wish we could see the colors true to form right here that right there is a beautiful area of light light pinks grays tans but the shawl collar you knit as you go and figuring that out was a booger i think i kind of want to finish this I need to try it on and see if it fits. I got the arms on waist yarn, which sucks because I hate when I do that. I should have put them on cords or something. I feel like getting up and seeing if this fits. Let's do that. Because, let's see. Are they going to fall out? They might fall out. I better not. Let's do it for fun. Eh, I don't know. It'll fit. Let's just say it fits. Amethyst something cardigan. I'll link it below. Seems like her name's Badger something now. Something Badger. I don't remember. But... Okay, too much yarn. Amethyst Grace Cardigan. That was a test knit. I failed. Don't ever let me test knit ever again. Because it kills my knitting mojo. We know this. Tomorrow I'm going to pull 
tomorrow and Monday I'm going to pull from the closet because I only have two bags left up there and one is just yarn it's not cast on and the other one is a pair of mitts that are beyond needing frogged so I mean I might as well just snip the yarn and throw it away but okay I'm gonna wrap things up I hope y'all have a great day, great night, whatever time you're watching this. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.